If you are looking for some live music, you've got plenty of performances to pick from in Portland during the next three nights. Tina Kim fills us in on this year's North by Northwest Music and Media Conference. Tina? Well, Tracy, all the signs behind me show that the Ash Street Saloon has been preparing for this festival for some time. This saloon is one of several places, about 20 places, that are featuring the performers. North by Northwest is a time for people to sit down and soak in the sounds. But, you know, there's two sides to this music fest. People know it for the mass number of performers. 360 bands, the majority from the Northwest, are here to express themselves. I liken it a lot to channel surfing where you can go one club and see a uh, R&B band go next door and see a folk band and go across the street and see maybe a spoken word performance. But North by Northwest is also a trade show where independent bands can meet up with independent music producers, equipment suppliers, and magazines. North by Northwest is also a chance to attract some major industry insiders. The band Thrillbilly has seen some success, developed a following, and this is their fourth time at the festival. And they have this advice for artists just starting. For our band personally, I mean, we've just slugged it out and we've continually done it and met people and pl continue to play well and write good music. So just stick with it and do what you love. Now, the North by Northwest Festival is going on through Saturday the 22nd. Again, 360 bands are being featured at 22 night spots. And we want to let you know that wristbands are available. They cost $25, and they, they attribute to all three nights. So if you buy one wristband, it goes for all three nights. We also want to let you know that one of the reasons why Through Billy is doing so well is that one of their songs is on a na nationwide radio ad for Ralph Lauren Jeans. So they're up and coming. Not bad. We'll listen for it. Thanks, Tina. It's also a great place to meet Matt Safino. There's a good chance he'll be at one of those spots listening to music. He loves it. I know. He says he goes every year, Matt. I have gone the last couple of years. It's been a lot of fun. You catch a lot of new and upcoming acts, as Tina just told us. And it's just fun to see all those musicians all over the place.